Fun to follow you. <laughs> Today, I'll be making chicken pot pie. So let's get started. The ingredients for the fillings will be 3 cups of chicken meat. I have a mixture of uh, raw, I don't have enough so I'm topping up with the raw one and a baked chicken thigh. 3 carrots, 2 onions, all these are to be diced, 3 potatoes diced, some chives is optional whether you want or you don't want, some peas. Uh, you can throw in some corns if you have, but I don't have. And then I'm also putting some uh, button mushroom. That's all for the fillings. And to cook the, the fillings, I need 500 ml of uh, chicken broth, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon first. If there's a need to uh, adjust, I will add in another half a teaspoon. This is a half a teaspoon of uh, black pepper. I need some oregano or Actually, you need a oregano or thyme, so one teaspoon. And to cook the roux, you need 115 grams of butter. For the milk, you need about a cup. For the flour, I need about three quarter cup. So let's jump into the cooking. Slice up the chicken breast. So I'm gonna cut the half like that, make it into a shorter length, and then cut across the grain. I'm gonna julienne it, slice it about more than 1 mm thick because I want to julienne it so we'll cover everything and then we'll marinate it I have cut all the meat to this uh, shred, to this length and size so it's like thick noodles and I'm gonna marinate it using some salt and pepper because these are raw so I need to cook it so I'll be using about a quarter teaspoon of salt and I'm also using black pepper quarter teaspoon also now because I'm using breast, so I'll be using a little bit of cornstarch to give it a very uh, smooth texture. About a quarter teaspoon or so. And a dash of oil. Half a teaspoon. Mix it up. And then let it marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes. Next to the roast uh, chicken drumstick, we will just, just tear the meat. Uh, you can use the skin or if you don't want the skin, you can just discard it but the skin is really very really yummy I decided not to put in the um, skin it's healthier that way because uh, it's very fatty and I have already shred the whole drumstick so this one looks like it has about two cups cut the carrots into cube for the carrot and the potatoes we need to parboil it it will not cook in the pie I'm using a this onion instead of the white one because I don't have <laughs> so you just uh, dice it button mushroom you slice it I'm not using fresh mushroom but I'm using the canned button mushroom so slice it like this the potatoes cut up into about 1 cm thick give it to about 1 cm chives wash it and clean it cut away the white part which is just more fiber and cut it to 1 cm in length. We only want a green portion. I'll be boiling the potatoes and the carrot. So I'm heating up the water. I'm uh, putting a little bit of salt in the water. Bring it to boil. Cover it. Water has boiled. Throw in the potato first because potato is harder to cook than the carrot. So I will set this to about 2 minutes. Then only I plunge in the carrot because carrot also uh, can be eaten slightly raw. It's not a problem. But as to the potato, it has to be soft. So it has to be cooked for a good 8 minutes. So after 2 minutes of boiling, I'm putting in the carrot. Stir. Make sure that everything is under water. minute timer has stopped. So all in, I've cooked seven minutes. Uh, so now let me have a taste whether it is pork tender. It is. See, it squash. So I have to drain the water. In fact, this water you can actually use it to cook. I want to follow the recipe. That's why I forgo this one. In the water, the food is very hot. So let it drain like this and let it cool. Now I'm cooking the chicken meat. Give it a stir-fry like that. So I'm using very little oil. I'm 
using about a um, tablespoon of oil. You have to cook it but you don't have to uh, brown it. I'm putting a little bit of uh, chicken powder to enhance the chicken taste. One third of a teaspoon. a little bit of water to the glaze. At this point, if you want to put some wine, you can do so, but I just want to make it a bit healthier. Let me show you your meat is more cooked. It doesn't have any heat, uh, much heat inside the pie to cook the meat. Now once it's uh, cooked like that, you can dish it out. Start cooking the chicken pie filling. First, we'll switch on the, the heat. I'm adding in about 100 grams of butter. Uh, by the way, I'm using unsalted butter. I'll be adding in the onions. No need to wait for it to melt. Stir until you get the fragrance from the onion. Once the onion is fragrant, you can add in the seasoning and the flour. Put in the oregano, or if you prefer thyme, uh, one teaspoon, eyeballing it. Turn down the heat so that the butter do not burn. Then add in the salt and the pepper. Give it a stir. Now you can add in the flour. You need to roux. Turn down the heat. Switch it to very low. Now you can add in the chicken broth. I prefer to switch off the heat first before I add. Slowly add in the broth. Make sure it don't thumbs up. Switch the heat back on. Still on low. Add little by little. Do not pour all the water in first. Make sure the flour is well mixed into the water. Then you add the next round. So now I'm gonna add in the uh, milk. I have to put in about three quarter cup. I'm still on a very low heat, and I'm using low fat here. I'm not using a red thick cream. So after you put in the milk. You can bring up the heat again, stir, ensure that the, this mixture is uh, not lumpy, then you bring it to a boil. Taste whether it's uh, salty enough, if it is not, then you have to make some adjustment. So stir this, bring it to a medium heat, keep stirring, do not let the bottom stick. Once it comes to a boil, you can add in the peas, add the peas first. Because the pea is not cooked yet, and those cooked ones will can be added last. And then in the mushroom, in fact, the mushroom can be added last. Uh, this one I will add last. I don't want to overcook the chives. Switch the heat to medium. If not, I lower it. When it boils, the pea should be cooked because these are frozen peas. I have this to put in. There's some sauce here. Then I put in this. I hope the pan can hold all this. Yes, it can. Let me give it a good stir. Turn down the heat again. Mix it well. The filling can make two pie. It looks yummy. It smells yummy. And I hope it's yummy. Tastes good so far. No need to add any salt. But I want the, the sauce to be slightly thicker. It hasn't boiled yet. And let me put in the chive now. Now put in the chive after you taste everything. Chives actually goes very well with potatoes. So I'll be switching off because it's quite thick already. So when this cools down, it will thicken. Because right now it's still very hard. So I'll leave it like this first and let it cool. The dough now and the dough needs a uh, one and a quarter cup, half cup, one cup, and a quarter cup. You need to add quarter teaspoon salt and slightly below one teaspoon of sugar. Because they want half a half a tablespoon, and I'm gonna pulse it. <coughs> Mix up the salt and the sugar, and then add in the butter. I'm taking too long, that's why the butter also kind of like soften. I'm also adding slightly uh, some lard to it. Again, pulse it. <coughs> See, once it's well mixed like this, we add in the water. 
three and a half tablespoon of ice cold water. Again, pulse it. Pulse until it forms a dough. So, a look. so long as you can hold it like this in shape, it's done. You can uh, take it out and shape it. So we will continue with the other dish to form a dough. Do not knead. Just form it. Pour the dough into a pan like this. Gather the dough. Form a lump like that. And use a clean spoon to wrap it up. Right. Uh, wrap this in the round dish like that. Flatten it slightly. No need to knead. And then place this in the fridge. And we'll come back in an hour's time. Or you can even uh, do it and then uh, overnight only you do your pie. It's not a problem. This is an 8 inch pie dish and it's uh, detachable bottom. So we'll be um, rolling out the dough to fit into the dish. Flour the rolling pin and the mat. Open up the dish. I took it out about 10 to 15 minutes from the fridge to kind of soften it slightly. Just press on the dish and slowly roll it to the to about 10 to 11 inch. So the thickness we are looking at is about 1 mm in thickness. So if it's hard to roll, you just press it alternately like that. And then lift it. Uh, always move your dough around. Because if you get tear, you can patch it back pretty easily. Almost reaching the required thickness. Measure the, the dish. I think it's long enough. Now, you just use your hand and make sure the pie uh, nicely pressed against the uh, side. You shouldn't have air pockets like this. Okay, that's it. And I'm going to cut away the excess. Use the scissors to trim away. You need to have some hanging. When you put the top here, you cover it. You need to fold back these uh, edges. I will use a, a board like that and I will place it on top of the board. So this is going to be uh, kept in the fridge. I will use a plastic wrap to wrap it to cover it. Do the same for the top. Now I'm doing the top cover, so like the bottom um, dough, just uh, roll it out, press it down and roll it out, similar to the bottom portion. Turn it around, it's a bit hard now, it's just out of the fridge. I will also rest it for about 20 minutes, but it's still very hard. So keep turning, easier to roll that way. If you have cracks, it's still okay. Not to worry because you can patch up the cracks. Set the oven to preheat at 425 degrees uh, Fahrenheit or 200 and, uh, roughly 215. Top and bottom, preheat for 20 minutes. This is the pie shell that uh, I make, put in the fridge. So now I'm going to fill in and as I said, this caters for two pies. So I will only fill in half of the filling for each pie. Fill to the top and level it. For the cover, you can either wrap it around the rolling pin and uh, lay it on top of the pie or folding of quarter, then put it on the pie top and open up. Just give it a fold like this and then fold it in the top pastry to cover the, second, uh, the bottom pastry and just tuck it in. Then using your finger, Press one in and then use this like this press to make into a foot. So you have quite a nice uh, eye like this. And use a knife to split the pie to open up the vent. So I like to always cut into halves. Then a quarter. This four is slightly longer than this is slightly shorter. Then brush it with egg wash. One egg, then this is to be used as an egg wash. I already added uh, some salt, a pinch of salt. So brush uh, into the pie and don't forget to brush onto the edges 
So I'm going to put it into the oven to bake. Wait, the timer has just went off. 30 minutes. It's already golden in color. So I will take it as it is cooked. So we'll be removing this from the oven and let it cool further. The pie has cooled down completely. And so I'll be uh, removing the pie dish. So as usual, take a bottle taller than the pie height. You see, it just come down like that. And then use a plate. Use a plate that is quite flat like this. And then you just lift the plate base out. So let me cut up a piece of tasting. Just use a plate just to lift up the pie. So you notice the pie has a quite a flaky um, dough and the filling. You see the, uh, what do you call that? The chicken, the mushroom, the peas, the carrot. So let's bite into it. This one you can actually uh, eat it like a dinner or lunch. Mm. The filling is very nice. Not too salty, very creamy, um, filled with texture, different texture from uh, carrots, uh, potatoes and chicken. The crust is buttery, mm, slightly crunchy, very nice pie indeed. So if you enjoy watching the video, please like, comment and share. Most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Please press on the subscribe button and the notification bell if you have not done so to help me grow my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye! Fun to follow you!